Alrighty. Welcome to episode 68 of the Consistent Genius Podcast. I'm back again with Bill Seach, Paul Kokish, joined today by two guests. Returning, Josh Petro, Big Biscuit. What episode was he on? <laughs> he was on episode 11, right? Yeah, it was pretty early. Yeah, Big was- early going, man. That's back when, you know, Consistent Genius was struggling a little bit. I saw, <laughs> I saw the uh, YouTube clips, you know what I mean? You're putting, like, naked women up there so you can't... <laughs> So you can get views. Clickbait, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> no doubt, man. I saw that shit, man. I was hey, cracking I up. Believe, I believe our video, our uh, podcast was one of the best ones. Episode yeah. six, I saw. I that like, was where we experimented with uh, Reddit and stuff. So you post on Reddit, it takes off. It's great. Oh, and we're really? also with Devin Zinzer. What up? Best in the game, Fortnite. Nah, I, You're playing video games too? Your money at Fortnite? Yeah. Man, nah, nah. I don't even play in that right now. No? Here, really, here pull, pull the mic up a little bit. So it's free. It's free to play Fortnite, yeah. right? Yeah, and that's what's great about its marketing. Like, everyone can play, so every little kid did. Because, you know, you don't got to be like, Mom, buy me the game. It's free to But download. is it in-game purchasing or something? There is. Yeah. That's where they get you the uh, microtransactions. Fucking stick it to so you, They do. <laughs> Dude, it's like 10 bucks for a uh, uh, cosmetic skin. Kids eat that shit up. They love Hell it. Oh, yeah. You don't want to go into that area where it's raining and you're just dying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean? You need that. You need that protection, man. <laughs> you do. You need the hood, the cape. I spent Hey, some you know what's there. funny is the kids go to, yo, you, you didn't even have to buy this game. It was free. I can, <laughs> I can spend $10. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. So they're doing great money wise. Oh, and then I it's a trend in itself because all the dances and shit, you see people do it. And then. Takes off. Is that what it is? The dances on Fortnite? Yeah, is that what know, they're doing on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What TikTok's the fuck huge do that. you mean dances? So, like... We're talking about poker now. <laughs> oh, dances. I want to know about That's dances. what I mean. We're talking about poker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you get that? Bill okay. Seach don't want to talk about it. Switch yeah, so that's what I mean. That's so. his segue. That's exactly. So, if we talk about poker, he can come in. Otherwise, It he wasn't just the sits poker there. I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the reactions of the young apprentice... Go ahead. Poker. Go ahead of the Young Apprentice. We'll, no, no. we'll open it up. Let's open the uh, let's open up the chapter and we'll start talking about that. Well, you, and then we'll bring our guests involved. But you know, what I mean, I want to go ahead and let the audience know what you're talking about. What I'm talking about is Bill hasn't ever played in a tournament poker setting. I have. I got fourth in my first tournament. <laughs> Out of how many people? <laughs> Thirteen. I love it. <laughs> okay. Was, so this one had 42 people, and it's every year, and it's the same day, President's Day. There's a waiting list for there was, once a year. There was 12 waiting. There There's was, a waiting list, and it's only once a year. There's a waiting list. Sounds you, like to get into the Masters. <laughs> there was mean? a waiting list. So he wasn't going to play there until was a Saturday list, night. But now there's not? I could show you the text. He got invited no, no, Saturday no, no, night. I'm just asking you the question. I could care less about the proof. Okay. D- there was a waiting list, but now there's not. No, there still is. What are you fi- That's what you just are said. We, are we in there court? was a waiting list. I'm just repeating what you said. There was eight guys that got turned away. Yes. Okay. So they got to wait till next next President's Day if they want. Yes, because there was no. <laughs> you got to wait a year. There was no to room. play in a forty dollars tournament. No, you can just play every day at the casino that. if you want. Yeah, serious. Hollywood. I just want to clarify hey, that. Hey, man. this guy thinks we're in court. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know what I mean? I know you work for CNN, so yeah, that's why I got to straighten shit out so, every so, once in a while. So, you like to fucking just talk out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. Ladies, so Bill gets invited Saturday night because I told counselor the counselor runs it. That's his name. He was the prosecuting attorney in Columbus for years. He retired. I love the background check. You got to give the background. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. So his nickname is the counselor. His real name's Rob. But yeah. Hey, don't expose him like this. The counselor. The so awesome. He's Rob. He John text- Masbiani. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see, when you That's say the that boss's word, name. you we say don't- that word, it's a touchy subject. And a left <laughs> we don't say here. that. We don't say that. <laughs> so he texts me, little Bill's in the tournament. So. Bill gets there. I'm trying to te- tell him, Bill, you got to really kind of grind it out when you're playing a poker term with that many people. There's 42 guys, yeah. and they all play at the casino. They all are veterans. The youngest guy there was probably 35, other than him. So what's that tell you, right? Yeah. So they're all experienced guys. So you asked me, when was he knocked out of the tournament? Before too long, I turned around. I see him. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but just like you back in the day, guess that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, I wasn't the first one out. I wasn't the first one at my table, and I wasn't the first one in the general area. I think I might have been like so you're the second. No, the like ninth, maybe the eleventh, somewhere in that range. So I mean, you yeah, know. there was forty guys, and they paid top eight. 
Yeah, that's kind of stupid. I don't like that. Uh, I think the top three maybe at <coughs> most. Five. I give maybe, it five. Maybe 50, five 30, max. 20%. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, but because you got 40 guys. So you, know what I mean? so, you know, Bill's been practicing with us at our other games, the high low, the, the carnival Omaha, games, the shit ahead. like that. Yeah. So pretty soon I turn around and I see Dyer. Do you know Ron Dyer? Well, anyway, Ron the Dyer. DDoS. I see Ron Dyer and Adler, and I see Billy in the middle of them, and then all these guys that I don't know. Adler, the guy who brings a quarter pound of weed to the games? No. <laughs> That's not no, the guy? No, no, no. I, I know who he's talking about. But we... Remember? No. No? Okay, go ahead. No, no. That's not the guy? So I look over, and I see him doing That's touchdown guy, dances. He's, he's over there. He's trying to hide that shit. You know what I mean? Go ahead. <laughs> I look over, he's doing touchdown dances. He's over there, high, you know, cabbage patching and shit. <laughs> he's texting Tom Connect. Look, I just hit 200 in his hand. So he's taking, he was using what we've taught him, and he's playing this high low Omaha with these clowns that don't know what they're doing, and he made money. So it was pretty good. Oh, you played a side game. Cash. Game. Cash after, yeah. Yeah, well, I was talking with. Um, See, I could have played that game. Yeah, you could have. But, you well, know, I guess you had to be on the waiting list for a year. I don't know. It was there all the people list. that were there. So the thi- well, who you know why? Because he's right? the counselor. Who sent him on my right? You're right. Waiting guy number two. Yeah. Adler. Wait guy number two. Was it? Wait guy no, no, number no, no, three. Not at the cash game. Um, shoot, what's his name? Hallaby? No. The, the so you make more money no. at the cash game than you can at the tournament? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. You can make, I mean, whatever that's on the table, but no, they had they were betting ten dollar max bet. I think. Yeah, it was like so. We did like PLO, which is Pot Limit Omaha. For those who don't know, I love he throws the we, acronyms. But the we guys maxed don't even it know. at ten dollars, so that's it was <laughs> it was a little different. But we established when we bust in the tournament, we're starting the cash game. So one so guy you already knew it. you were getting out of it <laughs> before you even got we, in. Yeah, <laughs> like so you know me and another guy we. Kind of like, hey, let's get this cash game started. So we went over to the other table, you know, sit down. Boom, another guy comes over. And then every time someone busted, they would come over, be interested, you know, see chips <laughs> flying, that type of thing. And then soon we have a nine-man table, and it was it was a good time. Nine men played Omaha? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. That's and so best part about it, a bunch of old guys that we don't know, you know, they come over, they're buying in for like $10, $20. And obviously, you I mean you just sweep them with one hand. So, yeah, it was nice. They do have a daily tournament at the Shark Tank, though, because the guy said he plays six days a week there. Yeah, no, they got a tournament at the casino every Mondays. Yeah, but those are more expensive. Sixty bucks. Okay. What's the Shark Tank? It's over on Bethel, I think. I know. Money wise. Oh, I don't know. Didn't ask. The high you know the casino is expensive compared to that. I thought that's what you were comparing it to. Well, the night game at the casino is 100 or 160 <coughs> on some nights. Weekends. I don't know. It's probably uh, I it Anyways, days, move over. <laughs> Back move. to the dances. Devin would kill someone. You know, we'd also, you know, be hyped. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then you could dance on them. So, you know, you could, like, throw them, like, a heart. <laughs> Just throw them a heart up in the air. So, like, explain, first shit. of all, like... Explain Fortnite a little bit because some people might not exactly. know. Fortnite, so, like, yeah, like, yeah, you know the Hunger Games? Say, no, I never watched that. Okay, so it's where 100... I understand. I understand the premise. You know what I mean? Because I know, yeah. I know what Fortnite basically is. So, Essentially, you can play a round. It's like you're against, what, 100 people, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it 100 people? Or you go, what, against... You have a team of, what, two or four? Uh, so you could do singles, duos, or squads, which is quads. So one, two, or four. And then if you do squads, you verse other squads. Singles, you just 1v1. Is it first-person shooters? What is it? It's a third-person, like, Battle Royale, it's called. So it's like 100 games. 100 people dropping a map, and the last survivor wins. That type of thing. So here's what I want to You play two? Not really. No. It's a free game, so you should start playing it on your phone. Um, On my phone? Yeah. You can play it on your phone. That's another genius thing about it. You can play it on every single thing there is. Every single uh, media outlet, whatever you can. You know what I mean? As far as, like, Bluetooth things like that but so when you win what do you win it says victory royale you get like you get points experience and you, and basically yeah. okay so you get experience points but kind of like when we played madden online i don't know if you ever did mm-hmm. did you have a rating so when you go up and you sit in a room and you see who you're playing against you know oh this guy's a player you know what i mean this guy's good and you could tell the level of experience when you're playing like you know when you're playing madden or something like that 
you know this guy's you know I could ju- you could just tell from a rookie to like somebody who's played a while. Is that kind of you get the you play Madden? Oh, do yeah. you get that yeah. kind of? Yeah, yeah, I'm Dude, like, I'm like big the into best Madden. Madden. <laughs> like totally, I beat him by like forty. So him you're by like fifty. Wait a minute, let me back Whoa. up. Everybody beats him by forty. <laughs> <laughs> that's not his game. No, that's because that's because really? everybody he just drops back and throws a bomb every play. You that's know exactly. Why? Why? No, no, I'm saying that's what these guys do. We run. So like that's why that's why it's important that you have to you know administer a game plan or anything like that. No. I, mean, I, I was a guy that even set my audibles before. You know, you have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah you got to. Exactly. Yeah. You, you have set to the set custom them. audibles. So, like, you change the, like, the default X to, like, sweep or some shit? Well, no. I mean, no. You, you, you set it up to, like... That's what Devin does. He's you set nasty it up to at the whatever, game. Well, you set it up to whatever you're comfortable with the controls at. I'm saying you set your audibles according to the plays that you're going to run, you know, that counteract the defenses that they're going to bring. So, like, if I run this play that I know, you know, I'm going to throw a swing pass to the left, and it's usually always open, unless they run a certain defense that covers this swing pass, my audible is going to be a sweep to the right. You know what I mean? Because he brought maybe all his defenders over there. Uh, something like that. You know what I mean? You have to basically see the defense that's out there to identify, hey, this play is going to be caught. Let me check. My, boom. Shut what year do you play? What Roll year the game do you play? Up. 20. 20. Yeah, dude, he's actually like really good, and he's even better at 2K. I'd say he's like turtle. 2K on, what on, on 2K entourage? Just, basketball? I don't yeah. even play that right now because it's terrible. It's a yeah. terrible game right now. What 2K? Yeah, yeah, it sucks. It's, it's not good. But when like, I hear people that got 2K, I start cracking up. I was like, dude, your parents couldn't afford a uh, bat, though. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you know what I mean? I like bust them up a little bit. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Madden's like, you know, Madden is Madden. 2K is like (laughs) the the rub off. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like there's guys that play on the varsity court, and then you're over there at the tennis court. You know what I mean? Hey, let's grab a basketball. You're on a tennis court. Come on, man. You know what I mean? So, but Madden Madden does have like the leaderboard system, and Fortnite has the same sort of thing. And you can like see people's names. So if you see you're in the game with like a popular like streamer from online. Then you're like you you, you kind of end. Well, what's sweet sometimes. about Fortnite as well is like you can call your friends and be like, and I'm sure that all the, you know, like Halo and things like that. You know what I mean? Um, call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty. You call your friends and boom, you're on there. Now here, here's yeah. what I don't understand. Explain this to me because this interests me. Why are chicks online recording themselves? Like, on, is it TikTok that they're doing that? Yeah. On? So TikTok right now is the most expensive. Uh, yeah, expensive platform there is but these chicks will be in fucking you know basically showing their ass you know what i mean within within guidelines of not getting kicked off yeah so they can get a stupid amount of viewers yes you know what i mean and it, it works yeah so I mean, t- tiktok like i said most expensive there is it's very easy exposure so if you post a girl on a tiktok and post you on a tiktok the girl's gonna get more views because the way the algorithm works i mean unless you know you know, it's Miss Piggy or something like that. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, Let's see some and, big game. Wow. Yeah, you got the big game hunter. Yeah, you know I mean, some on there. hey, some pe- <laughs> <laughs> that's my stuff. You know what I mean? Hey, some people are into that though, so that's cool. Well, they, yeah, they had a couple of hey. these chicks that like the NBA All Star game, like dancing in the halftime and oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, like, Sabella, the big. I love it. We got Sabella, Sabella up on the, the screen. Game. Look at that. That's sweet. Hey, you got to go to the uh, to the YouTube and check us out. You know what I mean? And you know if you want to see the uh, the right. full visuals, you we're know? gonna show a picture of Paul. I know. In college. We, I know we got. I know we got a lot of lot of listeners in the car. Look at that. That's back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> what's that called when you? Uh, oh. What's that called when you superimpose a face? On Photoshop. Photoshop. No, 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 no. That's a uh, collage. Is that a collage? No, it's not a collage. I don't know. Collage a bunch of pictures. Yeah, collage. Together. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But TikTok, yeah. So the idea, the if you know, if you're a hot girl, you go on TikTok. You get a lot of views by posting seek posts where you seek attention, or clickbait posts where you post a girl as the thumbnail of a video, so more people click on it. Once you get enough views, you can sell promotions, and you can get money through companies. So, and we actually know one girl who worked with the bars who did that, and her oh, and man, her boyfriend. Probably were, a ton of chicks probably do that. Yeah. Man. I mean, it's absolutely insane how, how people are getting money nowadays. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's wild. But like, so TikTok and the Fortnite, because dudes love Fortnite, gr- dudes love girls. So together, they're you know impeccable. I mean, not even that. Like, I see a bunch of chicks that are playing like Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean things like that. Yeah. Now, I got a certain level of respect if you're a girl and you can play a video game good. No, if you play it good, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, sweet. I'm like, hey man. Yeah, you know I mean, let, let me dap you up real quick. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, 
that's just my thought, you know. But hey, I know shit's changed. You yeah, know what I mean, but most, you know, most of the chicks they shop with a credit card. Well, they do. You know I mean, <laughs> they do that. You know, they'll be online. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, they're your shopping cart's full, like you know, like a ridiculous amount. But you know, that's here nor there. But you know, if you could play a video game. You got mad respect. Well, certain, some some of them are actually good at video games, but then again, you have people that are streaming on Twitch TV, which is like a streaming platform, and they're girls. They have their boobs out. Call them titty streamers because they're doing that. Well, just they're not for allowed views. to be naked. They're not naked, you'll get banned. but they are. But you it's know, like wearing tank tops. Provocative. Yeah, Definitely jumping up and down. Pro- exactly. Every time someone donates, they fucking you know jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically you know. I mean, they got. Websites, for, I mean, uh, yeah. webcams for that, you know, like yeah. cam soda. Shit What'd like you that, get you kicked know? off for? You got kicked off for something when you were We little. can't talk about that. <laughs> 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 After the podcast. <laughs> so, hey, do you know any, do you know any chicks that are uh, actually good at Madden? Good at Madden? Yeah. No. At your level. <laughs> Not at mine. See, that's what I mean. I don't. You know what I mean? I don't know any either. No disrespect, but <laughs> get that right. I said no disrespect. But. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I I get it too. None, none at all. You know what I mean? So like, but you know, there's just a certain aspect of what you know. I think. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not. Hey, you probably have a certain aspect of, of of playing ability that you know more than you know the average female. Are there any girls in the Madden scene? Well, I, I ain't mad any of them. That's what I mean. That's what we were just talking about. Playing Fortnite, like, it just pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Call of Duty and that's it. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. The girls play <laughs> Fortnite, huh? Yeah. Something yeah. interesting <clears throat> that you see is like Madden tournaments, Call of Duty tournaments. They're starting to be on television in some places, like ESPN 7 or whatever. Yep. But they are getting TV time now. Yeah. Yeah. It's and growing. then Yeah. And then in Texas, there are some bars that are – Twitch bars. So you walk yeah. in, and instead of having football on, they have Twitch TV stream. So it's all video games and shit. Hmm. So let's take. So explain off. to me, okay, on on, the, on this Twitch site <coughs> or whatnot, or is it Twitch or TikTok? Twitch. Well, so what you do, you stream on Twitch, right? And Twitch, then let's say let's Twitch, say so you hit there. a nasty ninety yard pass, right? Touchdown. You clip that. And you take it to YouTube, take it to TikTok, take it to Twitter, take it to Instagram. You upload these clips everywhere. That's the maximum exposure. People see you on those platforms, then you bring them to your new video that you upload, <coughs> you know, wherever. You bring them to your new post, and that's how you cross sectional, you know, promote yourself. Cross the streams. But uh, so TikTok is basically people dancing for how many minutes? Uh, up to sixty. Is it sixty minutes? Sixty seconds. Sorry. Sixty seconds. Okay. Yeah. Sixty seconds. So essentially, um. They were talking about how that's a, like a fad, but like cer- certain things become in style, and then boom, it's out of style within like a week. Can yeah. we see you know one? I mean? Can you put one up for us? Or I no? can show you on my phone. So there's like certain dances and whatnot that like people will eat up, and like yeah, all I mean, the girls usually again, it it's a lot week. of chicks that are doing it. So you see a hot chick that dancing or moving her body or something like that, something crazy. You know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, it gets just a lot of views. And then people are looking at it, and then that view counts as a view. And then essentially, you know, what? How, how do they? All right, so how do here, they sell the ads? Here's one our friend uh, Lexi and Bethany did right here. Yeah, I saw that one. So they just do this little dance, and like that's they're, what everyone on TikTok did for a month. But they're out of sync. What? Yeah, they they were they were, <laughs> they might have been. <laughs> you see how out of sync they were? They might have been inebriated. On What's that? Video. that? Well, that's what most of them are. Most of them are drunk. Let me go ahead and set it, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Who was holding the camera? <laughs> no one. They set it down. Yeah, you set it down. It you looked I mean? like it. It looked like it. Yeah. They got, uh, you know, it's all technology. You know what I mean? They got tripods and things like that. That's wild. It's crazy stuff. Have you guys made a TikTok? No. You have a TikTok? Yeah, I have it. There's yeah. Some funny, there's some funny ass shit on there, though. <laughs> like, there it's is. not just girls dancing, but there's, like, some funny shit on there. I know. I, I tell us, it tell us one you saw. I want to hear about well, it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, it? No, you'll get you'll get guys that are just going a rant <clears throat> for sixty seconds about what anything. What, oh, them what, twin guys do that. What right? do people get pissed off about? Yeah, you know I mean <laughs> traffic. You just anything. Oh, <laughs> when it's raining, Paul. He's like everyone drives under the speed limit. You get you you go on a rant. I just don't. I'm not the guy that talks to the other guy in the car. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'll be in a car and all of a sudden I'll just you know, be texting or the guy's driving a truck or something like that. And he'll You're be like and yelling driving. at the dude in the car. Like road rage. Like yelling at him. And I'm sitting in there 
and people, if they probably look into the truck, they think he's yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yo, my dude, you got to calm yourself down. Breathe easy. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, he's going nuts. And I'm sitting there going, bro, just, hey, FYI, dude, he can't hear you. <laughs> I mean, he goes, I know. But, you know, and then they just, he just continues to, and it's over the stupidest shit. Like, you know what I mean? 35 miles an hour, and a guy's going like 33. That's bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's bad, but it's not, you know, you shouldn't. Why are you on this guy's license plate? You know See, what I mean? Are what, we trying to clean it? That's what Jonah does. She rides people. She's like, she'll be on the phone. I'm going to ride this guy on the freeway. He's pissing me off. I'm like, why? Why can't you just be safe? Well, see, no, 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 no. She's doing it cool because she's talking to you. She's pissed. She's talking to you. She's not talking to the guy in front of the car. That's like true. I'm like, you, hey, bro. You know what I mean? Sixth floor, Riverside, <laughs> mental division. You know what I mean? That's where you need to be, bro, right now. You know what I mean? I'm like, and, they, and, and you tell them about it, and they don't learn. You know what I mean? It's like. Hey man, you know he's the kid that's got to put put his hand on a hot stove to to learn that hey that's probably hot. Yeah, you know what I mean you get burnt. People don't take criticism well. Not at all, man. So boys, so I want to hear about the funny videos, man, because I like funny shit. <laughs> and start watching <laughs> them. Yeah, start no, putting you... your time in and watch them like we've watched them. You can, so you can get on TikTok, right? <laughs> you make a TikTok account at Bill yeah. Sheet. Let me see you make a TikTok account and then you follow everybody. And then you go on your feet, and you just you watch the video. If you like it, you click like. If you don't, don't even know Snapchat. You know what I mean? (laughs) No, he's on Snapchat. I'm the one to introduce you to Snapchat. (laughs) Wait, this guy didn't have it. Now he's Snapchat champion. Snapchat, like (laughs) he puts a Snapchat on, like you know, he he tries not to watch it so his score will go up or something. (laughs) You know what I mean? No, the way the Snap score goes up, (laughs) actually, if anyone didn't know, do you know how Snap score goes up? The amount of videos that you look, uh, no, uh, no, no, uh, no, no, produce. No. You guys have it. It's every yeah, snap it. you send or receive. What's that mean? That's what I just said. But the amount of videos or, or snaps that you produce or receive, yeah, or or look at, yeah, right, or I receive, thought, or somebody yeah, yeah, sends yeah, yeah. them to yeah, you. Yeah, I thought you meant like I only send them if I'm traveling. I don't you know. don't even look at them. I'll send them to you. They're <laughs> you. Hey, FYI, newsflash. You know they're only good for 24 hours. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know <what> I mean, <clears throat> but. Hey, Warning to all the dudes out there. If your girl has over a million on Snapchat, she's a hoe. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's not the truth. That's not that true. Not. No. Oh, speaking of girls, that's you guys true. got girlfriends? You got a girlfriend? That's, that's what I mean. See, that's your insecurity. Let's talk about your insecurities. <laughs> no, we're not talking about my insecurities. I would love it. We'll sit there and rap all day about that. You know what I mean? You guys got three hours? Yeah, I got plenty of time. Have you guys seen the roast of Donald Trump? That was funny. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see him move the goalpost right there? He's like this. Hey, guys, hey, we know we're kicking off, but let's just do this logo over here, right here. You know what I mean? Anyways, no, but uh, so you guys are going, you guys go to OD, ODU, right? Yeah. Right. Ohio Dominican. Nice, nice. I went to Youngstown, so it was like, um, you know, when I was coming out of high school. Young, people are like, who the hell, where's Youngstown? You know what I mean? What, what <laughs> yeah. the hell is Youngstown? Stuff like that. So it's funny because I was going to apply for uh, to be a coach at ODU. Oh, really? Yeah. And I actually had an opportunity. Like there was a, a, a job and I was, I want to say five years out of college or whatnot. And uh, and they were looking for a coach. It's kind of weird. Cause they, they posted that like in the paper. Yeah, usually you just get you like someone I mean? from your inner – well, yeah, like it's usually former player or something. You found yeah. out or something like that. It's usually, you know, like an athletic department leader or something like that would go and say, "Hey, you know, we have an opening," and it's right. usually going to be found pretty quick. But it was kind of weird that they were doing interviews at that point in time. And I don't know if it was like maybe you guys don't know this or whatnot, but how long has ODU had football? A little over ten years. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that was it. No, that's maybe like 16 years. Yeah, maybe it was the inception of them starting a football program. You know what I mean? That they were looking for candidates or anything uh, like that. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't know too much about them. All I knew was like, man, it, that, that downtown city of like Columbus, isn't it, isn't it by Capitol? Uh, yeah. yeah, just north of it. Okay, so, yeah. North I, of that, Bexley? It's like yeah. three miles. Yep. Hmm. That was like the only thing that I knew, you know, me down there. Who, who's your guys' rivals in football? Finley, Tiffin. Tiffin, Finley, home of Ben Roethlisberger, right? No way, is it? Yeah, I think he's from. Uh, I think he's from. Yeah, he went to the yeah, Finley High School. I think Finley. yeah, he went to Finley High School. Yeah. That's where Baumline's from. No way, yeah. is he? Yeah, Finley. 
he took the private jet down to uh, <laughs> North Carolina. I knew a stripper from Tiffin one time. She's smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so you guys are D2 or whatnot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how, uh, did they recruit heavy in like um, in in the Central Ohio area? Yes, oh, yeah. definitely. Well, you got uh, like a lot of cats that go from, or you guys went to Kaufman, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people, like a lot of, uh, how many people you think from Kaufman go to uh, ODU? It's actually not a lot. No, really? not really. Because um, Kaufman, all those guys try to go D1 or FCS. They won't try to, they won't even look at D2. Sometimes they'll go I'm not, just I'm, to I'm D3 just talking at about like to go to school there. Oh, go to school? I I don't think anyone – not many people go to school just to go to school there. Do you know anyone like, in our year, just you three? Uh, Marley, McDonald, okay. also went there for what's the, uh, what's the – so pay, basically they're going there for sports. Yeah. Most, yeah, yeah, way yeah. most of them are, yeah. It's pretty much. Is the campus big? Is the school sport. <laughs> Is the campus it, big? Yeah. Really? Not really. It's no. about a seven-minute walk all the way across. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. nice, though. So well, would you guys play like – okay, so you guys are D2. Would you play like Otterbein? No. No, they're D3. Yeah, they're D3, but no, hell no. you still wouldn't play. We would play, what do you we, sh- we would play up one, FCS, but we wouldn't play down. Our coaches won't play a D1 team below us. Like a bit. Okay. So it's always that your, your coach is no. going to go play up one. I'll give you an example. So we were, what is that called now? F, 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 FCS. FCS. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so essentially we, we, we were FCS. Yeah. We would play like Kent, Akron. Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan, all the all the Mac schools and things like that. Uh, Boise State, I think Boise State was. They were, they were young. They yeah, were they lower. were like us. Oh, they were us. Yeah. yeah, so they climbed up just like it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Whereas we were prominent in the '90s, but we didn't have the facilities to move up. <clears throat> you needed a certain amount of stadium seats to to consider yourself a Division One prospect as far as uh, <clears throat> the NCAA goes. See, so we're a D one school, but not. We were F. What's it called? F- FCS. FCS. No. Is it FCS. It was one. Yeah. Du- it's, it's one double A. Yeah, I mean, um, so like, what happens? You have Division One, which is Ohio State, you know, yeah. Notre Dame, things like that. Then you got one double A. Smaller schools that doesn't basically can't hold the st- the stadium capacity as well. So like, but then you'll have like, as I consider, if I had to designate the leagues, I would even put Youngstown State as a Division Two. You know what I mean? Whereas Division One AA would be your Kent State, your San Diego State, your Akron, your you know Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan. I would put them as a one AA school because let's be honest, there's no way they're going to go to the national championship. You know what I mean? Or, right. or get into that bowl game. I agree. So if your potential is not even to get into that tournament, then you should be you know downgraded. I mean you know into a different division. My opinion. You know what I mean? But. I loved our playoff system. So, I, how did you? How, do you know how your playoff system works? It's Division like ours, I think. Same thing. You have sixteen teams. No, we have. We have um, twenty-eight. It's the top seven teams from the <coughs> four regions. Yeah, and that's how the Division Two works. Yes. So you have a twenty-eight team playoff. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. How far did you go to the playoffs? Uh, we didn't go this year. We got bowl we game. Were one out. Went to a bowl game. We were first man out in our region. Really? What it's because we were two game, two regular season games short uh, compared to you're talking to Mike. compared <laughs> to other years. We were two regular game, two regular season games short. So, you know, we didn't really have a chance. Yeah. What was your record this <coughs> year? Uh, we were eight and two in the regular season, or seven and two, seven and two because we had nine games, okay. and then um, and then we lost the bowl game, so we finished. Seven and three. Where do you guys travel to? Like, where would you travel to? Our father's game was Georgia. Okay. That was the number one team in the nation at the time. They, really? yep. I think, did they lose in the final four? Something like that? Uh, I think it was the lead eight. Like, who was it? lost, okay. like, second or third round. Did who, you get who, to fly who or was no? it? No. 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 Well, we would have, but, yeah, it was a, we rode the buses, but the coaches said that if they planned it a little if they had more time to plan it, they would have got us plane tickets. Yeah, or but. they would have probably had a little bit more time to get the, uh, you know, funds needed. Right. That's essentially yeah. what it is when you're dealing with, you know, I mean, smaller. You know, because when we had the cutbacks, I don't know if you were a part of that or whatnot. We had we had like major college cutbacks where we had to. I mean, it was ridiculous. <clears throat> we we had to stop just little things like we used to get taped up at every practice. 
Boom, they stopped doing that. No way. Yeah. So then they basically bought these, uh, like if your ankle was messed up, you had like an ankle shoe, almost like a sock. It was an extra sock that you basically put on over your yeah. sock, and you shoestringed it up or laced it up, and then you put your shoe in. Yeah. That kind of took place of the of the athletic yeah. tape. So they got reusable shit. Yeah, because yeah. we were constantly going through athletic tape. You know, you go yeah. through a practice, rip, cut the athletic tape, the pre-wrap off, and you're done with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Go to the store and try to buy that shit. It's like $6 a roll. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm certain that, you know, it's cheaper when you're buying in bulk and things like that, but those are the cutback costs that we started yeah. seeing that were a little bit irritating to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not that I ever needed tape or anything, but, I mean, I would just keep like three, four rolls in my locker. You know what I mean? So, you you know, as an alignment, you're dealing with finger issues and things like that. You constantly have tape available. Well, then all of a sudden they just say, eh, you know, we're not going to go to that. Or just little things. Like, you know what I mean? If my – we had things or <clears> – <throat> We had like Stroms where basically you would put over underneath your, uh, you know, over top of your, you put your pads in basically. You know what I mean? It wasn't like uh, the old school guys would be like, we had girdles. You yeah, know, you girdles. Put your, yeah. You put your hip pads in and stuff like that. Well, when you're in college, you deal with like neoprens where you're pulling up your pants. It's kind of like uh, the same material as like yoga pants. You put in it and you could stick your thigh pads in. You stick, you know, not your knee pads. Your knee pads would go into your practice pants or anything like that. Well, if your your pants ripped or something like that, you could just go to the equipment manager. Yo, man, I need a new pair of uh, Stroms. We call them Stroms. That that was gone. Yeah, you know I mean, essentially those things were gone. Yeah, like, if you ripped one up. of those, they might give you one depending who you were. Yeah, you know what I mean, you better be a starter. But if you were like, hey man, <laughs> I'm on the practice squad or I'm, I'm I'm on scout team. Hey man, you better keep that. That dude, that was like <laughs> necessarily one of the big things that you needed. Yeah, I mean, because otherwise you're putting your thigh pads in your practice pants, which you could always do. But, dude, your thigh pads would be your knee pads at the end of practice. Because when it gets wet, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not like, then you look sloppy. I mean, you look, you know, how you feel or how you, you know, comfortable wise determines how you play as well. You know what I mean? It's just that, that's why people are so, you know, into like, you, know, you get baseball guys are like, you know, I need Under Armour. They need certain shit. You know yeah. what I mean? It's funny because <clears throat> me and me and your dad, we played with the uh, the guy who's him and his buddy. Well, his buddy mainly, but he started Under Armour. Really? Yeah. So I mean, we would you know, wasn't he? He was in GQ magazine. He'd right? always complain about his fucking shirt. He wanted because it got all wet. Remember? Yeah. The half top, <laughs> Brian yeah. Wood. <laughs> so yeah, like our our you know the guy we went to school with, he. Uh, he ended up transferring to Colorado, I think. Yeah, it was Colorado, and he got drafted by the Cowboys. Arizona State. Arizona State, was it? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he lived in Colorado. My bad. Um, but, yeah, his buddy went to Maryland. And if you remember, when Under Armour first came out, they gave Maryland all free, you know, basically test products, test, test all the stuff out. Hmm. And uh, they wore it religiously. You know what I mean? And it was, obviously, it's sweet now. You know what I mean? You look how expensive it is. But it got notoriety, essentially, when one of the guys from the World Series, and I was reading the story, um, wanted, a, like, an undershirt. And so they were, you know, I don't know who they were, uh, who the company was that backed them. But the equipment manager basically gave him a shirt. He goes, no, nah, no. Nah. He goes, run down to the store and buy this. And he, he told him to go buy an Under Armour shirt. Basically, you know what I mean? And that took that off. news, yeah. It was like if one of the guy from the Yankees or the Mets. It wasn't yeah. the Mets, obviously, but it was, I think it was a guy from the Yankees. And that story took off. And people were like, this guy had the equipment manager run down the road during the game and buy a shirt for this guy. You know what I mean? Because he, you know, he wanted the shirt specifically. And so then all of a sudden, you know, the Yankees get outfitted on that or, or anything like that. I mean, but it's just a, it's a funny story to hear, you know what I mean, of how a clothing apparel can be – you know, so giant, so blow yeah. up so quick. Start from nothing. Yeah. yeah. Start from, like, you got to give your shit away to people so people wear it. Yeah. And then once they wear it, you know what I mean? It becomes reputable. Yep. And, and it's, it's like, um, that's like anything. It's like, it's hard to, like, sell stuff. Hey, buy this. But if you give it away, you know, essentially he was giving it away. They were, I think, giving it away to high schools as well. Try it and so forth. <clears throat> and that's kind of what it was. Hopefully... To try to get orders later. Yeah. <clears throat> and obviously, 
now they're gigantic, you know. Yeah, I think nowadays the way you got to start like a brand, like you see a lot of clothing brands trying to like come out. The one that like took off is Barstool. All their shit is selling. It's they got everywhere. clothing. Clothing. Yeah, like the Call Her Daddy sweatshirts. You've seen them at the bar. Yeah. You say degrade me. I am unwell. They have the Barstool logo. They have shirts, hats, necklaces, bracelets, cups, underwear. Everything flags Saturdays are for the boys. Have you no, seen well, those? I, what's funny is uh, see, but those sayings are all from movies. Yeah, but it sells. Well, anybody can do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean we can all screen screen print any any normal shirt. That's true. I think the 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 main thing is is Barstool, you know, captured the uh, the social media and the internet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're really good at that. <clears> I mean, their their their, their platform is unbelievable when it comes to that. You know what I mean? I I, I truly believe that. That's I think McAfee does. He started off at Barstool. He actually quit his, like, fourth year, was going to make big amounts of money just to punt the ball, and he retired to go to Barstool. Hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it definitely was uh, a <clears> – <throat> Hey, he might be making more money at Barstool. Oh, he does. Yeah. Well, now he got his own show. He's making, you know, crazy yeah. money. But, you know, some of the stories I hear <laughs> – I mean, it's, it, you know, it shows, it shows pretty good for the most part, you know. So – um. But yeah, I mean, just you know, I tell you another clothing apparel line that just took off was fucking yoga pants, Lululemons. I don't care what it is, who's lemon? Hey, right here, baby. <laughs> no, those ain't yoga. Those are tight like yoga pants. These, I wanted to tell you, these those are Lululemons. Are, those I know ball huggers. I was gonna tell you, don't dry them in the dryer. <laughs> I didn't dry them. Dude, someone dried these pants. I could tell. Yeah, I was like, she's a weeks, man. Hey, those you got, you got a yoga workout? No, later? they call these the ABC <laughs> pants, anti ball crushing pants. That's what it says on the tag inside. Actually, all ball crushing pants is what it is. No, it feels good. I was driving today. I'm like, man, it feels like I don't even like, have oh, pants. How are you on. crossing your legs right now without your, you know, it's just you testiculars know, it's going tight, fucking but, mad on you. <laughs> hey, not, Duluth. Hey, Duluth. Oh no, you, way, you guys Duluth? know about Duluth? You've been to Duluth? Yeah. Dude, Duluth Trading Company. Cocus best, should be the best spokesperson. Pa- best pants I ever bought in my life. Let me tell you something. I bought plenty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a hey, anti-rip, and I, you know, I mean, I, I, I've been known to rip a couple crotches left and right. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, and these are. I tell you, man, if they rip instantly, just walk them back into the store and they'll give you a new one immediately. It's sweet, man. I love it. But uh, yeah, I mean, so for the most part, like you know, like um, what are the Gym Sharks? Is that oh, what it's called? Yeah, Gym Shark. Good clothing. Dude, man. I mean, that's what I mean. Like you, you, you get. Put chicks in a, in a line of clothing, and boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sell. I'm, I swear to God. That's Dude, all you girls need. sell everything, honestly. That's, I, I, Videos, I, You clothes. know, one thing I used to do when I used to run the line to catch you, be like, hey, how, how come those girls get in? How come you ain't checking them? I, I'd look at it like, bro, girls run the world. We just follow. <laughs> That's all we do. And he goes, and all of a sudden everyone was like, yeah, I guess you're right. You know I mean, people were standing in line going, hey, man, he's right, dude. <laughs> there were no chicks up in this bar. We ain't coming in. Yeah. I said exactly. I said that's why you know we let them wear whatever they want. Now you got to dress, you know, pull your pants up. You ain't yeah, coming shirt in, and you tie. Know I mean? <laughs> you know, I mean, shirt and tie. You know, I mean, just look presentable. You know, what I mean, yeah. I, I used to love when catches catches come to the bar with sweatpants. I'd be like, bro, I would just move the gate. I'd say, hey man, step out here real quick. He step out there. They think he was getting in like you know VIP line. I shut the gate. I was like, go to Walmart, get a pair of pants. <laughs> and they were like, what do you, what do you mean? I was like, listen, man, I live in Worthington, so I don't know where Walmart is around here, but, you know, there's probably one open, 24. Get down, get some. He goes, man, I'm from Dayton. I was like, I don't know, but, you know, we took out the bench presses and basketball hoops three years ago. <laughs> we don't have any, so no sweatpants are allowed. <laughs> Dude used to get pissed, man. They would be so upset, man. I don't understand how people wear sweatpants and want to go out, though. You know, if you're going out, you got to <clears throat> Here's the thing. So nicer. I will say the college life, you do that. Sweatpants, really. I mean, sweats, shorts, stuff like that. The only that. place I'd wear sweats is like yogis. You're wearing comfortable. So, shit, you were sitting around, and this goes to, you guys live on campus or you live at home? Campus. campus. Okay. So, you guys have a dorm or apartments? Dorms. So, when you're in the dorms, you're dressing like this, right? Yeah. You're just hanging, uh, boom, and then all of a sudden, five guys just say, hey, man, we're going to go down to the bar. Sweet. I'm in. Put a hat on and you're good. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's essentially what happens. You know what I mean? It's not to blame the kids or anything like that, but you have to set a precedence at the bar. You know what I mean? You know. Because if so, if we got to let somebody like this in, then we got to let everybody in. Yeah. So you got to set that precedence and be strong about it. Do you guys have a bar on that campus? Hell no. no. Hell no. You, you, have go to go, to, you have to go to OSU. You guys, you guys no, you go to Capitol, right? 
No, there's a bar. No, bar. There's a bar in Bexley. I forget. There's a couple. Dude, Bexley, you'll get shot. No, what are you talking about, dude? Have Bexley, 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 Bexley? Nice. Let me tell you a little no, small Bexley. secret, dude. You don't well, know anything, Mr. Nice. Dublin. I know that you're Dublin, Capital's born and raised, nice. and that's what Bexley. Bexley, dude. The Bexley police. Hey, nice. if you, dude, if you drive your car at 10 p.m. through Bexley, it's a coin flip. You're getting pulled over. That's true, but they have boundaries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, hey, just like any <laughs> college. You go to USC. You got Compton and Watts right next to USC. I know you don't know what that is. The project system out in LA. It's essentially it's a bad area. You know what I mean? So I've actually been to Compton. Okay. So I have you know. But why were you at why were you at Compton? I wanted to see it. I was out there. <laughs> 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 Retired, man. Stand Dude, me out. Cash me man. out, man. No. <laughs> I drove through that. Cash me outside. I wanted to see it. <laughs> Had a rental car. What the hell? <laughs> no, but I these guys have you if you've been through Bexley, it's a nice place. It's nice. You know why? Because Jewish money runs that. I drove through Bexley one time. I went on a road. I was coming from downtown Columbus. You went through a different Bexley. Yeah, you didn't go to Bexley, and it was bro. Shitty. I no, think you, no, you have I not been through Bexley. Bexley is beautiful. I'm going there tomorrow. I'm gonna send all you a picture. You're gonna see. From downtown Columbus to Capitol, terrible. It depends on what road you take. He's right. There's there's boundaries in Bexley. Hey, there's another, dude, there's another go, side. You go window. outside of our campus and you're in the hood on yeah. either side. That's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Absolutely. So, like, if you cross over, I think I know where your campus like, is. Capital, if you cross over 5th, is 5th Avenue right there? Right. Yeah. yeah. So if you turn right and cross the train tracks from 5th Avenue, you hit Bexley. As soon as you cross the tracks, there's two cops sitting there all the time. And he's right. You'll get picked up. Yeah, it's it's what happens is they're looking. They're keeping their town clean. You know what I mean? They look for the riffraff or anything like that that rolls yeah. through there. So, like, if you come up Livingston and you cross over Allen Creek and you keep rolling straight up, drive through there, man. It's nice, man. They got the lights up there and shit like that, man. I mean, it is it is a decent area, which obviously makes it more expensive to live there as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, just like Clintonville. When you drive through Clintonville, man, there's some good places or some bad places or whatnot. Yeah. But it still doesn't justify in my eyes why a normal house that looks like it's worth one hundred and fifty thousand that you gotta pay three fifty. Right. You know what I mean, yeah. I just don't I don't get it. It does get absurd. Yeah, because you're living in certain areas. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he crossed over from Bexley across James and that's where he was. Yeah, I mean you if know, you're over there by like, you know, Ruby Avenue and shit like that, you know, Main Street. <laughs> I don't know where it was. I, I'm just saying. But yeah, like when you're I gonna the find capital, hookers and everything. When you get the capital, it's like the sun the sun shining down, it's green. It's nice. Capital University. I mean nice even Capital is kinda but Bexley is nice. You know what I mean? I mean Capital's like right on the outside of Bexley, right? Yeah, that's right yeah. there. Yeah, right there. You know what I mean? But when you go into Bexley it's you know yeah. I mean, dude, they got a Starbucks there. That's all you got to notice. There ain't no Starbucks in the hood. <laughs> there ain't? None. Never been. Let's go. <laughs> no. Try to find a Starbucks what on Morris. What do they have? Dunkin' Donuts? Try to find a Starbucks on Morris. <laughs> oh. Why do you got to throw out Morris? I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, that's not even the hood either. But Morris is a big road. There's no Starbucks. Yes, out in New Albany there is. Morse goes all the way out there. New Albany. <laughs> New Albany. New Morse Albany. Road. Morse Road Dude, goes are out you there. Kidding me? Did he just say that out loud? <laughs> yes, Gahanna and that area. I'll give you that. That's Morse you know road. the Morse Road I was talking about. Seventy one. Northland. Yeah. Yes. That. You know. No. <laughs> not at all. Do you remember Northland Mall? There might be a Starbucks at Graceland. Is there a Starbucks at Graceland I don't know Mall? Graceland is. You don't know where Graceland? They kind of upgraded that area. Yeah. That's yeah, north I mean, of John's house, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's oh, basically... With the name. It's basically um, Indianola. So is there like, a crime on campus where you guys are or no? Um, Not on campus, but we have the police helicopters circling almost every other day. See? Wow. Yeah, Outside see. of campus. Yeah. You know what I mean? We so were going to practice one day, and it was right above us. And our campus was on lockdown, and we're going out to practice. Really? <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> like, they had they had police staged right on each side of campus to make sure. Because uh, I think it was, like, a shooting or something. The guy was running. and <laughs> You're like, we got practice. Like, <laughs> Coach was like, we still got practice. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, he don't care. Uh, <laughs> Trust me, he does not care. <laughs> no. But, what, you know, they're the running coach? down the coach? there. Who's the coach? Who's the coach? Uh, Kelly Cummings. Where's he, where's he from? Do you know? Like, like I mean, where'd he go to school at? Stuff like that. Where was he Where would he go to college? I think he went to a community college or something. Okay. Or junior college. So what do they do, like, when you guys are in, like, um, when you guys report to camp, like, double sessions and things like that? So g- g- 
give us a breakdown of like what you guys have to do. Like, where do you guys? Is there a hotel you guys stay at? Is everybody check into a dorm or what? No, it's all in the dorms. Cause I mean, it's a tiny campus as it is. So okay, uh, we're all in the dorms. Um, all of us are with other football players. Are you all in one building? No, it's three buildings. Um, one's like the quiet dorm, which is kind of what we're in. One's the second one's like the big dorm that like a lot of the freshmen and sophomore and some juniors will stay. And then you have the senior, junior and senior dorm, but mostly seniors. And that's, that's a nice, really nice dorm. Is it like co-ed or like? Yeah, it's all co-ed. Okay. So this is what happens. Like, do they separate the things? Like when, when, when you're reporting for camp, is that what you're giving us? Like that detail, that breakdown as far as like they have freshmen go to this dorm. Sophomores go to this dorm, or like everybody's no, it's just, all one. We're in our natural rooms that we will be in for the rest of school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So but the, everyone else is empty except for the football players there. I got you. Okay. So <clears throat> the the way it was different when we went to school, when we went, it was like, did, were you at Kill Kali? No. Yeah. There, oh my God. These places, there there's bathrooms that are bigger than our dorms, <laughs> and they would have like double bunks. Like you know, what I mean, it was like prison rooms, and then they they opened up a uh, light and oil. Basically donated a dorm for us, and it was sweet. And then we had, you know, the normal size dorms. Um, but essentially, you know, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, you're all reporting to one dorm. Yeah, you know I mean, and essentially we're taking over, you know, maybe three floors. Yeah, you know I mean, we might go third, fourth, and fifth floor. Now, <clears throat> there was a little bit of a hazing thing. We went, whereas none of the freshmen were allowed to take the elevator <laughs> ever That's messed for up. camp. Yeah, were I mean, you a freshman or were you older at the time? Well, yeah, I was a freshman when we went to the Kilcally. And then we had the, I think it was the, uh, the freshman was up on the sixth floor. So you had to walk up six flights of steps. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. You wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> so it was one time I got in a fight with a bunch of guys on the elevator because I wasn't walking. And it was, yeah. <laughs> and it literally, the whole time, you you know, you're getting a truck. I don't care. Hit it, boom. And we got in a fight. And, uh, in the elevator, but I learned a long time ago that you can't be pushed around like that. You know what I mean? There might be a hazing process or a teasing. I'll give you an example: when we were in high school, none of the freshmen were allowed to ride in the back of the bus. All seniors rode in the back of the bus, driving up to practice. Interesting. So the only way that you got onto to the back of the bus if you arrived to the bus late or you stood up in the front. Guess what? The bus driver used to say, "You can't stand. Sit down." So if you went in the back, you got beat up. You know what I mean? Literally, you got in a fight. You know what I mean? Because they were old just days, there man. And, and what's that? <laughs> you ain't allowed to fight these days. That's the old days. Well, that's just saying. There's there like <coughs> hazing policies and things that went on. Taking a bus to and practice. So, and then <laughs> so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, well, yeah, because you know, it was far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or our practice field. Our Come practice on. You used to ride your bike like Billy. We're, we're far, <laughs> farther. You know what I mean? But so anyways, yeah, you got, I remember I got put in the back and I was a sophomore. I guess the thing is, if you weren't starting, you know what I mean, as in, in, in high school or something like that, then you got teased. Or not teased, but bullied, essentially. If you didn't stick up for yourself or anything like that, you're going to get you know shit on the whole time. So instantly, you know what I mean, as I went in the back, boom, I'm getting like, you know, they're jacking me and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, I said, let's go, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So you stand up and you, you fight whatever you can. I mean, people are punching you, but you're laying the law, too. My thought is this. Hey. I'm going to get my ass whooped. I might as well give an ass whooping to somebody yeah, as well. Go so, out shooting. Yes. You know? So I just picked the smallest DB, and I just was like, <laughs> boom, boom. And I was smashing on him the whole time. So when he got in the locker room, he was like, F that. I'm not doing that anymore. You know what I mean? They were like, screw that shit. You know what I mean? Because you're right. And then the whole time, I'm smashing. I'm kicking somebody else, but I'm taking it. You know what I mean? You walk out, you get a couple scratch and bruises. But guess what? Never again did I ever get in a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they, th- that's what they, they prey on is that weakness, you know what I mean, and yeah. things like that. That's what people don't understand. It does help that you're bigger than all of them. I don't <laughs> care. It doesn't matter. You, it doesn't matter. It's uh, the attitude. When you're older, you yeah. I, I do agree with that. I mean, the attitude does help. But the, we, we never had any issues like that. They didn't that. have that because they just walked across the parking lot. Well, because you didn't have oh, any yeah. black guys that went to your school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had a lot. Don't worry. Lot. <laughs> yeah. Definitely did. Well, no, so the coach had a recruiting problem. So he would, you know, invite him over. No, no, no. What do you mean the recruiting coach, problem? We don't have to recruit when we already have Mike Drennan to recruit for us. Oh, People that's just true. want to play that's around true. him. Yeah. So what, that's Dublin? how you get the kids. Is that Dublin? Does he graduate now? Yeah. 
Did he? So, Kentucky. Okay, so it started with oh, like. Oh, what happened to Ohio State? Uh, he was. I don't think he was ever really interested in Ohio State. They may but never, but they you may have to live in Dublin. You can't. They did. You, you they guys did. can't recruit. I do can know you? that. No, they uh, can't. No. Well, the coach got suspended for a few games for. Yeah, you can't that was recruit bullshit, your public. Though. You can't recruit. Well, it's, uh, it all it's, came it's, out. Huh? It all came out. People yeah, would move to the but, district but it was a kid so they could go there. We wouldn't even recruit. Uh, so you guys would cheat, essentially. Hey, man, we recruited Sam Jackson. <laughs> 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 if you didn't make it in Steubenville, Big Red, you went to another school. You know what I mean? Typically, you know, you were, you were yeah. basically, you know, you get the guys that, that constantly um, transfer. That's what they call it the transfer portal. Yeah. We were transferring stuff like that. Um, guys that didn't play in Steubenville, they would go to a different school and be like, ooh, we got this guy. We got this guy. You know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> your dad. <laughs> this, kid came, you tell the story. this kid came from Steubenville. Our, our, one of our coaches was like, all excited this kid was coming from Steubenville, you know. Because they had a good program. They were in the playoffs every year. That kid couldn't fucking tie his shoes. He was the <laughs> – seriously. Hey, it'd be like uh, one time when, when I was at Youngstown and we did intramural. So we used to do um, – <clears throat> basically in the winter time, you know, Coach Trussell yeah, would have us. I don't know where it's at. He broke Other it. side, other side. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's all good. Co- <laughs> Coach Trussell would have us like – we did a lot of team activities. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, like a building, you know. Yeah. Yes, we were constantly doing team activities, stuff that, you know, I don't see now in my personal life as far as, like, at work and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, but um, yeah. some places do, some places don't. But anyways, team building, essentially. You know, like, we don't do any team building when we work in summertime at the bar. You know what I mean? There's no team building there. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, getting team yelling type of thing like that. But uh, anyways, so... We would do a lot of team build. So essentially, we get the team, and he they would basically you'd pick like they have ten guys, pull ten guys out. You guys are team captains. We're gonna pick basketball teams, and you pick your basketball teams. Yeah. Boom! You start drafting cats. You know what I mean? You boom, boom, and it made it fun to, for that type of shit. Yeah, we you know did what I mean? something like that in high school. You're sitting there, you're doing that. And you're like, I need this guy. Well, here's the thing: you just played football with these guys. You know what I mean? You didn't really know who play could play hoops. You know what I mean? So you did a lot of stereotypical shit. <laughs> <laughs> so instantly, I'm one of the guys that choose. And I'm I'm like, oh, man. Dude, he's a, he's fast. He's a fast running back. I got my boy. He's fast, man. Look, Because you play basketball with some guys. Yeah. And you know who could play. So you try to pick those guys out. You're probably in the third guy, maybe fourth guy you want to pick. And you're like, man, that dude, he don't know how to, you know. If we give him a basketball, he's going to sit on it. That's all he's gonna do, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, no. Try to I'm dribble with two him. hands. So we picked up. <laughs> I picked up this guy. I was like, yeah, pick that guy. He's from Jupiter, Florida. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I did the stereotypical. He was a black guy. And I was like, hey man, <laughs> take him, guy. Right? We threw him the ball, and I'm not bullshitting you. He double dribbled with both hands. <laughs> it was <it>, Jermaine. <laughs> like this, and I said, get him out. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was like, dude, can't you play hoops? He goes, no, man, I don't play hoops. I was like, really? He goes, yeah, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was like, I was like yeah. I mean, he probably, you know, was on a skateboard or something, you know what I mean? which was shocking to me. You know, so, you know, don't believe the a book until you read it, what's inside. It, type <laughs> Wait, of don't like judge a book by its cover? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Shay, or whatever the hell. McFly. But anyways... Yeah, so we used to do a lot of team building shit like that. Did you guys ever do that when you guys were in high school? We didn't, you know, pick teams for competitions, but nothing like outside of it wouldn't be anything outside of football, really. Nothing like uh, when you guys were in college. You guys ever do that for winter, winter conditioning or anything like that? Uh, they have it going on right now, but right now? I mean, it's to what I can see, it's all we're all within. It's not really uh, like outside of football it's all about like you know are you on time are you making weight like you get points for all that stuff they get like uh plus plus ones for like conditioning if you do good bad and all that zeros minus ones so they got so some people are like don't show up sometimes or do terrible in conditioning so they get a minus one and then have you gotten a minus one plus ones so so, so what are the recourses behind if you don't show up for conditioning or anything like that if you don't show up (laughs) He, he's pissed. Like, <laughs> for real, he's going to call you, you in. Should, he's going to talk to you. He's like, why weren't you there? You shouldn't show up for the rest of the 
<laughs> for the rest of the year. Yeah, really. <laughs> if you don't show up if, one time, pretty much. If you don't show up to winter conditioning, that means he thinks you're you you quit basically. That's pretty much it. And then he's done with you because they don't want to deal with that type of issues, no. stuff like that. So, well, if you don't tell a coach, you're not going to be there. You are pretty much probably done. That's like yeah. no show, no call. No, it's way worse. Way worse. Let me tell you something. Missing a practice in football is like, you know, you just committed homicide almost. You know what I mean? Much. Especially if you have your football paid for. You know what I mean? Where you're getting money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're expected to be there. It's no call, no show. It's like, oh, well, you know, I don't feel like going to work. <laughs> like that. okay. That's nothing compared to this. Prepare the wrath to come down on you like no tomorrow. You know what I mean? I mean, you're, you know, your parents might get called, something, you know, something crazy. You know what I mean? Because there's money vested into you, and then all of a sudden, you're just flaked out. You're not going. You know what I mean? Type of thing like that. Well, so, I know to you, they'll just make you roll for an hour and a half. Yeah. Just roll down the field. Pretty much. There's going to be hell to pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Run the stadium. That's 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 just the physical portion of it. Yeah, you know I mean? But, like, dude, I mean, you know, how hard are you going to get to get out of the doghouse as well? You know what I mean? I mean, there's going to be <coughs> hell to pay throughout the rest of the year because oh, your yeah. commitment's not there. And you're, you know, basically letting your team down for the most part as well. You know what I mean? So, a lot of this, man, we had a lot of team policing. Like, like accountability. Yes. Accountability. Big time. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. we go back to the dorms and fucking people won't, you, you'd be ostracized. You know what I mean? People won't talk to you. You know what I mean? And that's essentially what individuals need to develop, you know what I mean? A <coughs> tough skin or, you know, a, dude, like, we've had, I remember there was this guy named Dusty French. That was his name, Dusty French. We used to call him Dusty Rhodes. You know what I mean? He reported to camp and he was so miserable at camp, he called a cab. And drove back to Toledo. Wow. <laughs> a fucking cab at night. <laughs> Middle of the dorm night. You know what I mean? During double sessions, it was out. You know what I mean? Now, me, I loved practice. You know, oh, he hated practice. I don't know I, if you loved practice. I loved practice. I hated running. You know what I mean? I feel that. I love banging. <laughs> On an emotional that. level. Hated hate running. Hate running. You know why? Because big guys, we ain't meant to run. You know what I mean? We're meant to go from here to there. Coach, I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> I need a breather. Right. You know what I mean? Type of thing like that. Right. You know? And we're mostly, you know, jolly, funny dudes and things like that. But, like, man, you tell us to go run around Wick Park, which was the park at Youngstown. It was a mile around. It was a mile to get there. <laughs> From the stadium. <laughs> we're hey, so we're going to take a jog dude. today. We're going to take a jog today. <laughs> we're going to take a jog uh, today. And so the worst, like, what's the worst conditionings that you guys have that you remember? Well, I, I know they did uh, uh, So we did, so in the weight room, they had us do, like, drop squats. So we did, we pretty much ended up being 90 total squats we did. And then we went out and did 20 gassers. <laughs> So explain to what 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 would be a gasser for you guys? Uh, well, it would be a half gas, so we would be down back across like, the field, across, across the field, field back, right? Yeah. yeah. So when they they were called, what are they called? Gassers. They called them. We called them intervals. Twenty intervals. Yeah. Okay. So so that's just down and back. So <clears> the worst was when you're in full pads on the grass field. We had a grass field and a turf field. So we'd be on the grass field because we have a grass opponent, and they'd be like, and so Tress would never tell us how many gassers we're going to run. But imagine double gassers with your helmet on. Oh. You know what I mean? So you got the helmet on. You go down and back, down and back. Dude, you do one of those, and, I mean, you're seeing stars, man. You're like, <laughs> I'm seeing little Debbies. Also, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like you star, I mean, dude, you would because you'd lose count. You'd be like, oh, my God, did we just do 14? Like you, uh, To the point where you're, like, vomiting. You get back, and you're like, uh, uh. The problem is this. It'd be like... Running backs and receivers up. Boom. You know what I mean? 30, Defensive 30. line and linebackers up. Yep. And the rest of you, O-line. <laughs> 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 like that. You know? because yeah. it, And then, time. boom. It would oh, go. they were timed, remember? Yeah, but I don't care. I never made seconds. the times. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I never made the times. I couldn't even, you know what I mean? But in the practice, man. You know, type of thing like that. I'll never forget, like, one year, I didn't, you know, I didn't make the, the conditionings for the uh, intervals. And I had to push Dan Watton, the golf cart, where he had the golf cart off, he had it neutral. I had to push him around the track a mile. Wow. Like every day in the morning session. <laughs> yeah, miserable, right? That's right. You know what I mean? Those, so those are the punishments that you get. Yeah. Type of thing like that. You, you have a 
we like so if we you know if you had a game you watch game film right what happens if like what kind of punishment did they give the individuals if they had like a penalty five uh, lashes don't do it again <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> pretty much no so we unless had a penalty you, unless you had something like serious they wouldn't they wouldn't do anything about it we had a penalty run 72 steps uh, well the stadium stairs it was 72 rows so it was like 140 steps the, the stadium's like this. I swear, you're better off going to, you know, the mountain park and climbing a wall. I mean, dude, it's so your legs are trembling. We got in more trouble down. for guys getting in bar fights than that. No than way. People getting in penalties in the games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, he yeah. got a bar fight, got his tooth knocked out, and um, let's just say the next day at uh, lifting oh. on a Sunday, uh, what was it, like 75, 75 up, up downs. 75 up downs. Before wow. lifting. Or, whoa, after. No, that was after lifting. After, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty killer. So he I mean, was that, drinking it during the season, or was this recently? Well, it was during the season. Really? Everyone goes out on Saturday Dude, everybody goes out and drinks during the season. Really? The it's the difference between high game? school and, fo- and college. After the yeah, game? That's all I do. After the I game, you you know, you're going to find people drink. Interesting. Period. That whether you're 18 years old or whether you're 22 years old. Yeah, I mean, you're going to go out and get, you know, you go to house parties, stuff like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Going back to those gassers, man. <laughs> so that was our test when we came in. Yes. My first animals. two years at Ohio State. At Youngstown, they were gassers. But the, the Ohio State ones. Ohio were, State, no. Youngstown, they were intervals. Yeah. But Ohio State ones were timed. The running backs had to do 31. The linebackers had to do 35. And the linemen had to do 39 seconds. Over back, over back, under 39 seconds. You know how hard that is? Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's oh, why I said with Pat. You're fucking should, sprinting the whole time. We did it with Pat's. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, do, yeah, sorry. But that was the test when we came in. <laughs> At Youngstown, it was 20 intervals. Yeah, it was 20 intervals back and back. I remember getting to 14 and, and so I thought you, my laser going to fall. Yes, you get, to yeah. like, you get to like 10 and you get that extra 15 seconds they give you, and it was like nothing. nothing. I was like, why? Yeah. Don't you give it to us. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, exactly just shoot me now. Kill me now. <laughs> exactly and so, the, the, like, our, our training staff was praying that your foot, both feet had to cross the line. If one did... It wasn't like, hey, like, you know, the forward pass rule where, you know, both <laughs> feet got to be pa- – uh-uh. That's exactly what it was. Like, you needed both feet to be in the ground when you hit 20 <laughs> as a lineman. And, uh, you know, what happens is you get guys that were on 17 and they missed. Oh. And, yeah, it would ruin your whole fucking summer because what happens is before practice or after practice, while everyone else is getting dressed and getting ready to go to the meeting – you were at the Aqua Lab, <laughs> basically in the pool swimming, which don't get me wrong, I loved because I was a lifeguard. You know what I mean? So I was like, this is great for me. You know what I mean? Because right afterwards, you just drop your pads and go swim. And I was like, this is awesome. This is no punishment. Yeah, that's you know good, what I mean? Yeah. But the morning punishment, right, pushing the golf cart around a mile. That was hell to pay. Yeah, I bet. You know what I mean? Because you're like, you ain't even get to calisthenics. Everybody else is laying down, joking around, talking about what happened. You know what I mean? And you're over there fucking pushing Dan Watton. <laughs> and so our, he was our trainer. And uh, if you knew this guy. That dude was a goof. Exactly. Jesus. You didn't want to listen to two minutes of what he had to say, <laughs> let alone be there a whole hour. You know what I mean? Him sitting there reading back going, God damn it, Cocos, hurry up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stuff like that. You know, so, you know. But those are the things that, like, that I tell people all the time. I said, you know, playing football it, it, it is an outstanding experience. You know what I mean? So, I I mean, I would not have traveled half the places that we've been without football. I mean, dude, it was like a vacation every weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? We go to, like, fucking Texas. And uh, I remember we went to Indiana State. It was a 10-hour bus ride. Misery. Oh, they did one a year. It was Youngstown a, did like, one bus ride a year. One miserable bus ride. Because <laughs> anything over eight hours, you flew. Right. Okay? They get, We stretched it to ten on that one. Oh. Yeah. The only good thing about that was you get guys that play cards. You know what uh-huh. I mean? So we'd play 024. And we'd sit there for fucking eight hours and play <laughs> cards. You know what I mean? Eight straight hours. You know what I mean? Everyone else is sleeping, got the headphones in. We're sitting there gambling. You know, we put a little box up or something like that. Hey, these, uh, these guys don't know your story about 
can answer his phone call. No. You better tell him. Go ahead. You, said, you were saying? Um, on our uh, bus ride to Georgia, we had guys bring a TV and an Xbox on the on the bus. Oh, and sweet. they were playing Madden all the way down and all the way back. No way. Oh, dude, we hours, had that. just rotating it. All, guys used to bring, like, like, their PlayStations in the bag. When they got to the hotel room, boom, set it up. I'll never forget. I went into Bosco's room. And so he was playing college football. He bring his mouthpiece. He put a mouthpiece in before every, playing everybody. I said, "You got your mouthpiece in because you're about to get ass whooping." Because <laughs> I, I love college football too. NCAA before all that shit went down, dude. I, I I was great at that game as well. But Madden was like, you know, the, my key point. Key. I love that game. But uh, yeah, I mean, these cats. You know, it just was for the show. So you know, he bring because he was. I think he went to Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. So he was a receiver, highly touted. He brought one of them Tony Dorsett mouthpieces where. It covered your mouth. He, he put it in before, you know, before every play. And I was like, dude, I'm about Tony to, Dorsett, they don't know who that I'm is. I'm about to bust your mouthpiece <laughs> yeah, up. You do. Yeah. Oh, Miss Clown bad. don't. I have no idea. No, you don't know who Tony Dorsett is? Anyways, he had a mouthpiece. Hey, I know Negreanu. <laughs> who? He ain't no Negreanu. Oh, my God. Anyways. But, yeah, I mean, so poker those strings, I mean, you know, you get a whole – you learn just about the, everybody's cultures and different cultures by, by traveling. On the road, you know what I mean, and things like that, man. You just, <laughs> you know, it's almost like a. We called it like we didn't have a big fraternity. I don't know. Do you guys have a fraternity at the ODU, like uh, uh, college life, fraternity life? Yeah, are there? No, I don't, I, I don't, think, I don't think so. No, I think the only. I think there's the only Greek life is like Black Student Union kind okay. of stuff. So, so wait, is that all? Black people? Yeah. Are whites not allowed to join? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they can't keep anybody out. Wait, yeah, what? I mean, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, yeah, he didn't go ask. What the fuck? Well, no, I mean, like... <clears throat> did, you ever, did you ever hear about the Black Brothers United in Dublin? Yeah. And there were no white guys? Yeah. Are they, are they excluded? Blocked? I mean, no one just... No white guy just goes and asks. Well, I so. never knew if it was, like, community or whatever, but... That was no, just I mean... Did you join in tomorrow? No, maybe. <laughs> no, I just always saw that, and I was like... Why have why have that in the name? Is it excluding certain groups? I don't know. Listen. So, anyways, back to what you were talking about. <laughs> I gotta tell you. I want him to tell you guys a story because on these football trips, the card games were out of control. There was like a group of seven or eight of us that that's all we wanted to do was play cards. This we're playing. I mean, we're we be in the playoffs. Yeah. We're playing Georgia Southern, who's like the number one you know team no, in the no. nation. Stuff like that. Northern you Iowa. Know, Northern Iowa. We're at Northern Iowa. Se- national semifinals. We win, we're going to the national championship, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're playing poker. The game's at noon. We're It's four in the morning and we're playing cards. Oh my God. Yeah, no rest. <laughs> no rest. Yeah. Zero. So Because we were, we, I can't, you know, I can care. I'm good, man. I don't need any sleep. Yeah, you know I mean? sleep's just for so everything you know, like sleep. that. I just rest, so, my eyes, boom. You can good. sleep when you're dead. Yep. That's <laughs> my thing. That's what I say all the time. But, so, yeah, I mean, anyways, we're playing and it's like a, I don't know what the hell it was. We, we just been playing for a while. I think I might have won a big pot and the phone rings. Seven twenty-seven. That was the game. Remember? Was it seven twenty-seven? I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a match pot game or something like that. So I, I'd won some money or something like that. And I was excited, and I answered a phone. Hola, like that. You know, like a dummy. I'm like, who the fuck's calling? This? Four like, in the four morning. Morning. Why would I answer the phone like that? You know, but they, there's things that just go outside your realm of thinking. And it's the coach, and he goes, "It wasn't Coach Trussell. It was a, uh, our assistant coach." He goes. Like, you know, I mean, who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and the coaches don't cuss. Our coaches usually didn't cuss. I mean, our assistant coaches did, but you don't hear that. And I was like, you know, I let him know my name, and he was like, get to bed. He goes, Coach Trussell brings us here, and you guys disrespect him like this, <laughs> like that. We have a fucking game at noon, like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Coach. We hung up the phone. Hey, guys, last hand. <laughs> 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 oh, man, it was funny, dude. Yeah, like we played Georgia Southern, I'll never forget. Um, Jeff Wilkins and Bucciarelli were all playing, and Baccio, uh, Del Baccio was playing. And uh, most of the guys, so Wilkins was a starting kicker. He went to the NFL, got a Super Bowl ring with the Rams. Really? Yeah. Wow. <coughs> Booch was a punter. Yeah. That's a funny story, by the way. Yeah. So they got a punt like one or two times. Bocci didn't play. A couple other guys, they didn't play. Me, I was a starting offensive tackle. Yeah, I mean, it's 3.30 in the morning, and these guys look at me and go, what the fuck are you still doing here? 
like that, you know. And I'm like, what do you mean playing cards? He goes, dude, you got a game tomorrow. I said, I'm good, man. <laughs> I said, so do you. What do you mean? He goes, bro, I punt three times. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe. If you guys are good on offense, which we might not be because you're going to be here. You know what I mean? He goes, I'm going to be punting a whole hell of a lot more. I said, yeah, good point, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> but um, it's funny. I had my best game that game, too. I swear to God. <laughs> you know, it's it kind of weird. It's yeah, like it's playing golf when you're super tired. What's that? <clears throat> it's like playing golf when you're super tired. Always hit it better. I can't play <laughs> for golf. some reason. Oh, my golf game went south. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like so, you know, being in college or whatnot, man. You just the amount of things that you see. Like we played Townsend State. We went to Ron Jaworski's hotel in Maryland, and uh, he was the coach of the Eagles way back in the day. I'm not coach of the Eagles, a quarterback of the Eagles, and he played at Youngstown State. And so now the guys, you know, if you see him on ESPN, he's a quarterback whisperer. He used to talk about, you know, all the quarterbacks, the jaws. But uh, I don't know where he's at now. I don't think he uh, – Retired, I think, probably. No, I think ESPN let him go when they did all those cutbacks. Yeah. But uh, anyways, we got to stay at his hotel, money. It was like one of them hotels, you you know, the rooms are up on the, like, 20th floor. And you look down, there's, like, a Hooters <laughs> in, in, in the middle floor. Um, you know, bars, all kind of bars and shopping centers and things like that. So it was definitely before its time. Now – that's kind of like the norm. But, you know, I would have never been able to see that without playing football. You know what I mean? Things like that. There's just so many things that you get to see, you know, by playing football. And, I, you know, I say, I don't know. Are you guys uh, – what's, what's what's your status? You know what I mean? What, what are you guys going to be doing as far as, like, you said you got injured? Yeah, I got injured. What do you said the kneecap or whatnot? Kneecap. Well, I've had multiple injuries. You want to tell them about what happened? For me? <laughs> At the waterfall. Oh, yeah. Here, wait. Move the mic, like, that way. Oh, wait. Just push like, it this way. If you want to talk it, like, right here to the yeah, face yeah. of it. Put, wait. Show them out. Show them Yeah, just like, the, like that. All right. <laughs> so, I was at uh, Sales Middle School. And there's the these falls. Sales. Sales. Yeah. Yeah. There's these falls behind them, like, in the woods. Like a waterfall. Yeah. So, we, we took a couple. There was a couple people over there for art class. We, we went to this place over there with a teacher. This was when you were in high school? Middle school. Okay, middle school. Eighth grade. We, we went around over here, and there was this place over here uh, that's like a 14-foot drop to the edge. We didn't notice it. My teacher was right by us. He didn't tell us. We went over here. We were walking right back down. It was wet on the ground. I slipped, fell off 14 feet, and shattered my kneecap. It was in pieces. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm shocked that the teacher didn't get fired or anything. No, he, I mean, we, he we got tried this. He's do still something, teaching to but this I, day. They didn't want to like take nothing, take what? no cases with him or nothing. But I mean, he came to our house and apologized deeply about it. Well, whatever, yeah, because you think yeah. about it as a teacher, and you got you know your your parent. You know, he was it a field trip or was it just something that he just took? Well, you guys it was on? kind of a field trip, but it was like we were supposed to go take pictures and draw them or whatever art. And oh, he was an art teacher. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. even worse. He sabotaged the fucking football team. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that knee never never recovered? Well, it kind of recovered, but I had a hard time squatting a lot and pretty much just leg press kind of sometimes. I mean, I, I didn't have much legs my senior year, so. Yeah. I played pretty good, but, you know, I got tougher when I got my shoulder kept dislocating a lot, like sublexing. Yeah. And it just went downhill kind of. But. Yeah, that sucks, man. It's like, you know, you get guys that are. Once your injury, once your once an injury, if it keeps you from you know what I mean co- moving on, man, it, it, it's just tough to cause mentally. It's a it's a breakdown as well. You know what I mean? Because oh, yeah. you're like, man, I just can't do the things that I normally could do. That's you know how I mean? feel now. That's why I'm like, you know, I got hurt my I keep hurting my hurting my knee, shoulder. It's like, you know, I'm never gonna be able to do like what I really want to do. So football. are both of you guys gonna? Are you transferring both to, to OSU? Um, I'm either going to do OSU or C State next year, and then OSU. Okay, it will it will probably be OSU in the end. What? Um, so how many years do you have to basically go to, like maybe the, uh, not a community college, but uh, other college before OSU accepts you? You have to have outstanding grades, right? Yeah, like well, I, not, I could not for transfers. You don't have to have outstanding yeah. grades. You not have to have transfers. like a two point five GPA or above to like get in. Pretty much. Yeah, it's, otherwise it's he really, would never get in. It's a lot easier. Oh. <laughs> hey, I have a 3.4, okay? <laughs> Come on, stop. Hey, listen. We're not the IRS. We're not trying to. <laughs> hey, don't worry, man. You ain't got to impress these guys. You know what I mean? We know you got hey, like a 2-3. Bill, C- Bill C- got the whiteout and Photoshop. <laughs> We're going to be fine. <laughs> 
That's airline oh tickets back God. in the day. Hey. Airline tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the I knew the censorship was coming out, bro. I mean, come on, man. Yeah. He's two. Don't put your down. What do you want, Front Street? You know what I mean? <laughs> Jeez, always. But uh, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Holy Jesus! I think to answer that question, I'm pretty sure you only need like thirty credit hours to transfer, yeah. something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me explain. Well, to be something. considered a sophomore, yeah. Going to Ohio State's great. And it's fine, but the Columbus State thing is pretty cool because the cost that mm-hmm. you come out with yeah. when you're done with Columbus State is far less. Oh, yeah. I do loans for a living for mm-hmm. people. When I see someone that has 15 student loans, and that I do all the time, it really affects them Yeah, if they can buy a house or not. You know what I mean? Well, mm-hmm. you know my mom. Well, he sh- she works there, so she gets that's a different. huge discount. Oh, that's money. That's, different. that's yeah. Mother, yeah. money yeah. dreamed all. So pretty, uh, don't don't yeah. you go for free? No, no it's, half it's off. 50%. It's, yeah. Now, she could go for free if she wanted to get, like, a master's or something. If, well, oh, you guys, she probably already has one if she works there, maybe. No, she has a bachelor's. So, are you going to go there this year, you think? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, you, yeah, I think they – are you going to stay home or are you going to get on campus? Uh, I'm going to be on campus. Absolutely. Nice. You're at Ohio State, man. you got to go on campus, dude. No doubt about it. What's Zach doing? Zach's playing. Oh, he's still playing football. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a twin. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on campus with. Oh, Tyler. really? Yeah. So they're. So right. Does his knee oh, hurt yeah, too? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> he just said you were a twin. So you know they're yeah, twinsies yeah. or whatnot. You like, know, they got did his knee hurt when you got hurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. He, he barely gets hurt. So what's your major? You guys got a major picked out or what? I'm finance. Finance? finance. Dude, that'll change. Nah, I don't know yet. Yeah, but uh, better off so you don't decide. Right don't, you know, you, I still haven't decided. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, man. <laughs> oh. I, went, I had like 77 majors, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was Lee majors. I think the average is like three times Lee. people change. <clears throat> is it? Mm-hmm. The sucky thing is, is this. I mean, this was at Youngstown. You basically, you're wasting your... The years while you're there, because you basically well we had quarters, but you would sit there and you like I was a combined science major one time, yeah I was thinking about one going time. into edu- education, you know what I mean? I got to do education, so you basically now you're starting to take science classes. <clears throat> then you when you change, you're like Fuck, I don't need those classes to graduate. They're nothing, yeah. you know what I mean? Then your electives that you have, the number of electives far exceeds the number needed. You know what I mean? So you're essentially you're wasting. You know, time. Yeah. While you're doing it. So, yeah, it, nobody knows what they want to do right now, but it, it's quicker if you do know what you want to do. I'll give this big piece of advice. If I could do it all over again, I would specialize in something that my degree is going to be needed for. Okay. So, I have a communications degree. It's called a yippee degree, I call it. Yippee! You, got a degree? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It does nothing. Yeah. The only thing I know how to do is talk on this thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, that's about it. With a little bit of, you know, some articulation, but outside of that, you know, okay, the guy knows how to talk. So it's everybody. You know, unless you're a mime. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, you know what I mean, you're gonna learn how to talk. I mean, for the most part, you're gonna be an adult. Do that and, shit again. Then, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Yeah, man. Like you know, who said that there's going to be an accountant? Billy Strong. Yeah, he's Chief over. J- Chief J- man, he should be a WWE wrestler. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll call him Kid Quiet. Kid Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just you know, what I mean, he don't say too much. You know, we'll put the white white paint on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kid Quiet in the house. You know, uh, that's dude. Cool. That's you know. So essentially, you know, if you're going to do something. I mean, like you, what are you? Information systems. Whatever, same thing. That's what I mean. Technology. Information systems. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as long as it took you to set this thing up, man, you might want to change it up. <laughs> quick, right? uh, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I, you know. What uh, What episode are we on? 68. 68, that's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. But anyways, yeah, man, just, and I don't know what it is. Like, I guess engineers are huge now. Yeah. I mean, if I was like, you know, if I had the love of math, which I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, normal numbers I'm okay with, but when it comes to, like, X, Y, Z over, you know, X, Y, square, not me. Yeah. Type of thing like so that. So, algebra? Yeah, I hate algebra. <laughs> algebra 2 or whatnot, you know, I hated that. Geometry I could deal with. I mean, shapes. applied <clears throat> finite was all right for me. 
Um, but calculus, no, not a fan of. I'll tell you something that, like you're saying, statistics I like with the OSU thing. A lot of kids, some at Columbus State, a lot of OSU kids take their business stats and business calculus at C State because you can do that. You can take classes at Columbus State. So because Columbus State has like easier uh, business calculus business statistics. Yeah, yeah. So you already passed that, and then boom, you go. But here's the thing, though. Oh, Usually, he's saying, he's saying if you're enrolled at Ohio State, you can still go take a class at Columbus, Columbus State, too, mm-hmm. which oh. is cool. That's and pretty sweet. for cheaper, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely do that. It's one, because two, well, yeah, because Ohio State, they think they're, you know, the professors probably think that, you know, their noses are in the air, yeah. that they're better, and then they're going to be Well, something, something I read about <clears throat> is that Ohio State's a research school. Yes. Like, that's what it's known for. Mm-hmm. So the, the professors may not always be the class as their main focus. They may they may show up and talk for 30 minutes, hour, but they're not really, you know. They get their wanting, money for exactly. research. Exactly. They're not wanting people to learn. They're there to get their get their checks, you know. Well, that's the whole thing about that. That's what drives me nuts about how, how colleges keep increasing the tuition. And there's no accountability on the college to make sure that these individuals pay their loans. So, for instance, if you got a loan, you just get it through the government. The government never turns down anybody for a loan. You can get it. As long as you go to school, you can get it. So it doesn't put any restraint on the college to just continually raise the tuition. Yeah. If you know that if I was a business and I know that my customer base is going to continue to pay whatever I want them to pay, because they need it, one. Two, they're going to get the loan to get it. Two, guaranteed. I'll just keep raising the price every year within means. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's essentially how the college program is working. That's why I think that they need more accountability at their end as opposed to, you know. I mean, dude, what's college tuition at Ohio State right now? 32. That's obscene, man. No, that's yeah. not that much. 32 20, a semester? 28. It's, like, it's like 24. A year. 24, yeah. Year. With room and board? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So that's 12 grand a semester? Yeah. Break that down into quarters. It'd be, what, eight, eight grand a quarter? It's a lot. Yeah, All man. Right. Out of state tuition, 30. Plus room and board's about 12. So that'd be 42 out of state. Jesus, yeah, man. In room state's and board? 10 plus room and board, about 12. Because they make so you live in the dorm for the first, what, two years, right? Yeah. You don't ha- I think you can live within 10 miles of campus. if you. So, like, commuter, if you live in Dublin, you can drive there. Yeah, but I said, why? You know, he lives in Dublin. I said, you want to live on the campus? Yeah. You go to oh no, State. Well, I'm just saying that's how it is. I'm going to go to the, back to the the money thing. It's a money thing because if he, and I'm referring to what we're doing right now, he lives at home and he goes to Columbus State. Because so there's no living ability on Columbus State. They don't have a dorm. No, but he could go to Ohio State this year. He can go this village, year if he uh, wants to. But I said, Bill. Get them goddamn electives out. You know how electives are, dude. They're a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Get yeah, them out of the way. Why would you want the electives at Ohio State? Well, Just like he said. Because you, want, you have to pay for it, Paul. You want the bigger ones, the bigger, harder classes to be taken well, no, at, so at a different school. Some classes right. you cannot take at other places. So, like, for anthropology, for example, you could take – you can't take anthropology at Columbus State because Ohio State requires their curriculum. So that'll be different for, like, frankly. I mean, University for that matter, he those. could take online classes. I could. You know what I mean? Yeah, he could. And just do yeah. everything. He did one last quarter, I think, didn't you? No. Just... I had a class where every test was online, so what you do, you just open one computer here. Uh, stop. Another one. <laughs> That's what everyone does. Yeah, but. So. Are you saying you're cheating? No. To get the 3-4? I knew you were. That's oh. why I said. That's why I knew you were a two four. Hey man, business calculus is tough. I got a B. <laughs> I got like all B's and A's. Yeah, because you have two computers open. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't. In, I got an A in that class. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I mean, every, trust me. That's what I'm saying. So, like, when you change your majors, you're going through different majors. You're taking like, oh, all of a sudden your guidance counselor is telling you, you got to take this class, this class, this class. Okay, so if you want to take this, you got to go ahead and take this this quarter. So then all of a sudden you're front loading everything, and you got 20 hours. You're like, holy shit, man! I ain't got time for beer and wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but the, the stupid like history. How much? Why does he have to take two <clears throat> history classes? You know what I mean? Get them out of the way. I mean, you're for the right. cheap cost. You're right. Hey, welcome to college. It's so stupid. College yeah, I mean, is stupid. Well, you say That's it is, but I yeah, mean, not everybody. Get up it's funny stuff. because everybody uses that degree. Why do the people want a degree? Why? Why is it that he's better any better than me? Because I what went to college. I agree with with that that theory. However, 
What does it do as an employer? What do they look at? I don't know. Your skills, ability to jump through hoops. I wouldn't. Like that. No, I think I, it's I look more... at your level of commitment. Commitment, that's a good one. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Does it make one person... Listen, I've interviewed, and I was a manager at Huntington. I've interviewed plenty of people that have come to the... Come to the to the to the, uh, to the office that had college degrees and didn't have college degrees, and you couldn't tell the, tell them apart. Yeah, you know I mean, they were both professional. They were both, you know, uh, you know, good people or whatnot. You think you know them at that point. So, what makes them different? Yeah, you know I mean, outside of that is that, you know, you look at somebody's. Hey, this guy's committed. He stayed. At, he can stay at one place or or do one thing for. A committed committed time that tells me a lot. Yeah, you know I mean, it's kind of looking at somebody's resume, and all of a sudden, oh, he worked at this place for six months. He worked for this place for six months. He worked for this place for six months. I mean, he has this, so he's going to work at my place for six months. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I don't want this guy. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, type of thing like that. That's kind of what you got to look at when 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 you're looking at things like that. You know what I mean? Outside of that, man, most people are going to be rational, unless you, <laughs> you know. You can tell, man. You go to a conversation, you sit in an interview. Interviews are, are great. You know, I mean, it wasn't when I first started. You think about it like, I'm not a guy that can talk good about myself. I mean, I was always taught in sports to be humble, to be modest, and things like that. So I'm not, you know, and I was always a firm believer of this. If somebody's good at something, that person doesn't need to tell a damn soul. Yeah. Everybody will know. You know, I always say, LeBron James don't tell anyone that he's good at basketball. Everybody knows. Michael Jordan, same way. You know what I mean? Everybody knew type of thing like that. But if you get somebody going, to, man, I was this, I was that, I was this, there's going to be a level of bullshit you got to sift through, you know what I mean, to find out how good this person was or is. You know what yeah. I mean? Type of thing like that. So that's essentially, you know what I mean? But I don't know. if I, Like I said, if I had to do it all over again, I would specialize. I'd probably do engineering even though I hate math just because any type of, you look at job skills right now, top engineers are making – Low engineers, I mean, are making like 90. You know what I mean? Top engineers, you can make 200. Go work at like Facebook as a, you know, an algorithm engineer. 200K, 250, stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doctors and lawyers. Yeah. Then you can Tom play. Connect, then you can play a Bill Seach's card game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, type of thing like that. So, all right. All right. That's our time. We're going to see you next Tuesday. Thanks, Devin. And thanks, Josh, for coming out. Thanks for having us. We'll see you again soon. Yeah. Cool. All right, see you next Tuesday.